Electricity isn't everywhere. We're in an off-grid location where a cell site is sited. And Marty, tell us how you're generating electricity, how you did it before, and then we'll have a conversation about how you're doing it now. Okay, so we're off-grid. It's important to have cellular communications out here, but electricity, you know, grid electricity is too expensive to bring up. So it's a solar site. This was built 10 years ago with solar and advances in PV technology have really come a long way. So now we've upgraded the PV to bring more energy to the site. But with the advances in cellular technology, 4G, now 5G talk, the load, the electrical load of the site has tripled, if not quadrupled. So the site was built 10 years ago and originally designed for a specific load. We don't have enough PV energy to power the site all the time. So what we have is a backup generator. In the old days of lead acid batteries or chemical batteries, uh, chemical batteries charge very slowly. You, it's a chemical reaction going on. So the C rate, the charge rate, you've got to be careful. You can only give it so much energy. Yeah, and they get too hot. And they, they get too hot. They, yeah, they melt. They, they're <laughs> unhappy if you give them too much power. So what we've done is we've increased the energy at the site by adding more PV. It's still not enough. So we still need that generator to run. If we were going to use lead acid batteries, the PV actually, the upgrade provides more energy than they can actually take. So the PV runs the site during the sun days and then also charges the energy storage system. If we were charging lead acid batteries, we wouldn't be using all the PV. We'd be dumping some. Mm -hmm. And, and if we're dumping energy from one source, it means we got to make it up with another source. Mm -hmm. Hence the generator. So we have an off-grid generator. This is a 60 kVA generator. We have 6,000 gallons of propane fuel at the site. Because of the, the analysis we did, the lead acid batteries proved that if we were to put them here, that generator would run eight and a half hours a day to make up for the lack of energy and the lack of PV that we wouldn't be capturing, that we would be dumping. And eight hours a day equates to so many gallons per hour. And that would equate to having to refuel this site three and a half times a year, which would equate to somewhere in the neighborhood of about Sixty-five or seventy-five thousand dollars. <laughs> Very expensive because it's not easy to get up here. You need all-wheel drive, right? Yeah, drive. Oh yeah, yeah. Bring in a truck up here. The propane company do, has a surcharge, so it's about six dollars a gallon for the fuel, and then they uh, charge extra for the tires that they damage on the truck coming up here. So it's a pretty expensive proposition. Would you have had to build a new building? Because it doesn't seem like there's much room for more batteries. No, no, the batteries would have fit. Okay. It's interesting. The, the amount of battery that would be required was 15,000 pounds of lead acid batteries for, for that design. And that still, we would still be running the generator yeah, eight, eight and a half batteries. hours a day. Yeah. So, so what did you do? So we've employed the new supercapacitor technology. Our company, we're a big proponent of this new energy. It's clean, it's green. It has a lot of advantages. It's not a chemical reaction going on. It stores energy electrostatically which that means we can store all the energy from the PV that we're making. So we have a 15 kilowatt PV array here, and that's generating at its peak about, you know, 13 kilowatts of energy, you know, practically. So we're able to power the site with the PV and then store all that extra energy into the super caps because they can take a charge really fast. So we're not losing any sunshine with the supercapacitors. And that means that now we have that extra bit of energy and the generator now runs about, well, the stats are in uh, 1.27 hours a day. So compared to eight and a half hours a day, it's quite a bit of fuel that saves uh, vast amounts of resources, energy, less 
greenhouse gases being emitted by the the generators which the technology could be extrapolated you know you could take this scenario and 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 do the same thing in our electric utility grid like for example pv solar farms that utility grids are putting in wind turbine farms that utilities are putting in they're faced with the same situation they can't use all that energy when they're making it if they could store it in a green way they could turn on coal-fired gas-fired generating plants less with the supercapacitors we have the advantage of making a greener planet and saving a bunch of money. <laughs> well, and also from an ongoing maintenance perspective, these have a lot more cycles than the battery, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the lifetime of a capacitor is known to be over a million cycles. Regular battery, you'd be lucky to get 1,500 cycles. So over its lifetime, you're not replacing them as often, so, you know, way less. And the maintenance is zero. And you can monitor them continuously as well, right? Yeah, yeah. We have, they're smart devices. Yeah. So uh, we have internet connection here. We can log in, see what they're doing. And they throw alarms just like any other cell site device, you know, that's common in the industry. And they don't outgas, right? No outgassing. Yeah, with chemical reaction, you have hydrogen gas being emitted during the charge and discharge cycles or one or the other. And um, with a super cap, yeah, there's no gas. There's no heat generated by them so less uh hvac required and um they're that they, well and they're they're more efficient so with with lead acid you know you with a chemical battery you lose mm. energy to heat that's being created sure. so you it, think of it like a piggy bank if you put a dollar in in a chemical battery you get to take about 80 cents out uh with the super caps you put a dollar in you get about 99 cents out so more efficient, better use of the energy all around. It's, it's, it's a great product. I'm really excited. Well, excellent. It's great to see it in person. <laughs> I mean, I met Omar a couple of years ago, and then of oh, course yeah. we've met. So mm -hmm. it's great to see it working. And uh, obviously, you're going to have a lot more ahead of you. Yeah. So. Yeah. We're, uh, we're going to take this. Our goal is to take this uh, and put it inside all the cell sites in America and, and make the world a greener place. Excellent. And a more reliable place, too. And more reliable. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Marty. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Kim.